Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we got the new NHL Moments event, and it came with a ton of great master set items. So just like every other event, we're going to break through all of the master items and go through what I think are the best in terms of just ranking them all. Obviously, some context is going to be needed, like do you need defense, forwards, centermen, all of that. But I'll explain that while I go through the rankings. Uh, guys, don't forget, this weekend, my G Fuel code, using code NOSELEEVES on GFUEL.com, will get you 30% off your entire order. So make sure you do that if you want to get some G Fuel. It's phenomenal. And uh, all right, let's get into the rankings. We're going to start with number eight on the list, and it is the 94 Tepo Numenin. All right, the, this isn't a bad card, so don't get me wrong here. Uh, distributor, Gladiator, and Wingman. Now, Gladiator is probably one that not a lot of people have, um, and it's probably the least important on this card. So let's just assume you have Wingman and Distributor. This isn't a bad card at 90 speed, but you can basically get the same speed on Dougie Hamilton, and he's 6'6". Six, six. Like, that. that's why. So... If, you, if you're going to be a little bit slower, 90 isn't bad, so d don't get me wrong there either. 90 isn't terrible. It's just if you're going to be 90 overall speed and you're going to pay the price you need to for a master item, you know, you got to have excessive height or, you know, his shot is really good, especially, um, you know, if you've got uh, some other synergies like Barrage on, it'll basically max it out. Um, but that's all going to be dependent on, you know, your team build. Also, he's got 88 deking. Um, you know, and lower agility than like it's not high in 90s. So his breakouts and, and you know your half cuts and things like that. If you're someone that uses that at the point like myself, it's just not going to be as crisp as some of the other cards. So uh, that is why he is number eight on the list of master items for this event. Coming in at number seven is the 94 Bobby Ryan. Uh, and again, same situation. This is a very very good card, and I would not be upset if I packed it untradeable or anything like that. Uh, the problem is, is that he's got so much competition that a lot of players have. So if you're in the market to get a master item, it's pretty safe to assume that you've got Mario Lemieux and Guy Lafleur. And if you've been playing for a while, you probably have, you know, either a team of the a team of the year like Pasternak or Panarin or Stamkos from the last event. And he's just not better than those cards, in my opinion. He's six two, which is great. Uh, Swarm is, you know, on the it's third or fourth among team based synergies. Light the Lamp is pretty good, but he's already got max balanced and hand eyes, so it kind of doesn't really do much form other than that wrist shot accuracy, which is nice. And then Wingman. So with Light the Lamp and Wingman on, his wrist shot accuracy gets to 99, which is great. But his speed is capped at 93. His acceleration, however, can get uh, up to 97 with synergies. He's an extremely good card, guys. It's just, you know, um, there's um, just better ones out there. That's why he's lower on this list in terms of ranking them all. Um, it's just the context. All right, this one might be a hot take, but all year long I've talked about how the new goalie progression system has pretty significantly changed goaltenders in NHL. Uh, speed, uh, agility, rebound control, shot recovery, and five hole are all capped depending on how tall they are. So I use Ben Bishop as an example in my last video. At six foot seven or eight or whatever he is, he's capped at 78 overall on all of those stats. Okay, so the taller you go after six foot, the lower those stats are capped. And now some of them don't really mean much, five hole, you know, but shot recovery, rebound control, uh, Ken. Speed is for sure because of your ability to get left, his ability to get left and right, uh, as well as agility. Here's the thing master items don't get capped, which means you have a six foot six monster who has no stat caps and a 77 aggression rating. And again, for anyone that doesn't know what aggression does, aggression on goaltenders determines how far they play out in the net uh, when, when, when you're facing them. So uh, lower aggression under 80 is kind of where you want to be. And the reason is the lower the aggression, the, the further back in the crease they sit, which means they can go left and right uh, a lot faster and, and get across to make those backdoor one-timer saves, which are just so prevalent in the game. You combine that with the fact he's got almost a 99 glove high stat, and he's 6'6", like, I would, I, I say this all the time, never recommend going out and buying a master item goaltender, because in the end, it will not save you. If you are bad on defense, you know, he might make a couple desperation saves or keep you in a game, um, but it is not going to fundamentally make you better, um, you know, in terms of gameplay. So, that's still on you, but man, this is probably the best, unless we get a master item Ben Bishop, this is probably the best goaltender for the rest of the game. Now, 
I'm sure that a lot of you might use him and come back and say he's trash because that's classic EA to have a good goaltender on paper and be awful in the game. So again, let me know. But I have the 97 Vasilevsky, and no lie, he's not very good in net. However, his synergy help is just so valuable. Markstrom's obviously isn't nearly the same. Balance is okay, but Distributor and Swarm are nice, but you only get one to those synergies. Um, I'm probably going to get Markstrom just to try him out uh, for the content. And uh, But yeah, he looks incredible. So number six on the list is Jacob Markstrom. Coming in at number five, uh, we have two cards really because this is going to depend, again, on your team build and needs. So Barkley Goodrow, first of all, love the moment choice as a Sharks fan. This is, I mean, honestly, without bias, that goal coming back in the way that they did, uh, one of the best playoff moments overall in all of hockey in the last, like, 15 years. Uh, that game is, I spoke with Randy Hahn, I got to do an event with Randy Hahn, who's been covering hockey for 30 years, specifically with the Sharks, and he's seen the Stanley Cup final, you know, playoffs every single year, basically, for the last 20 seasons, and he, without a doubt, told me that uh, that Barkley Goodrow was the best moment that he's ever seen in his career in sports. Um, so, I'm totally great with this moment. It's a weird choice now, because it's Barkley Goodrow, uh, but nonetheless, let's uh, break down his card. One to Spark, one to Speedster, one to Magician. So, Obviously, his low acceleration and speed to start kind of hurt because his acceleration can only get to 91, which uh, isn't great, uh, honestly. Again, not great in terms of master items, guys. I love it when I get comments like, dude, how is 91 acceleration or speed not good? I'm like, if you're going to spend 500,000 coins on a card, he better have fantastic stats. That's what I'm getting at. So he can get up to 94 speed, uh, and his shot is extremely good as well. 99 wrist shot power. Um, it's all not bad. And then he's got, you know, deking and puck control with Swarm can get up to 99. And defensively, he's fantastic. Uh, he's got 92 faceoffs, and this is basically, when you compare the two, a slightly worse version than the 94 Couturier. And 94 Couturier, in my opinion, is still the best centerman in the game. So... That's how good he is. But if you don't need a centerman, let's say you use Mario at center, maybe you have a Ginla or Taves, uh, you know, maybe you use Gretzky at center. Like he's probably not. He has to be a center, in my opinion, just the way that he skates. And bigger players still play bigger, unless you're the Mario Lemieux card. And if you haven't seen my review on Mario Lemieux, that that silver card is cracked. But usually guys will play sluggish regardless of their stats and speed until they get going, until they get like six or seven strides in, and then they're then they're buzzing. But uh, that being said, 99 body checking on six foot two, great defensive stats, um, and, and a good synergy mix. Again, I think this is a card that's important to get Magician on, um, but not bad. Now, if you, so if you need a centerman, Barkley Goodrow, or sorry, if you need a winger, um, you know, then I would probably, or sorry, if you have wingers and you need centermen, Barkley Goodrow would probably go ahead in this list. If you do vice versa and you need a, uh, you know, you need a centerman, he's probably, you know, higher up. He's probably four, but if you need a winger, he's going to be five. So the reason, you know, the other card in that five and four range, if you don't need Barkley Goodrow because you're set at center and you need a winger, I would go with Anthony Mantha. And again, same situation. So, uh, Barkley Goodrow is going to play a little bit sluggish to speed. This card's going to be even worse technically. However, um, I've talked about this for a while, and I think like I've talked. I, I I need to make this video, and it's something I keep saying, but I will this weekend, one thousand percent. When my when I'm streaming today, I'm going to get clips to show you guys why bigger players are so effective in this game. Because everyone all year long has been like, oh, on wing, you just need the fastest guy to beeline down the wing. That'll get you to Division Two. After that, if you don't significantly change your play style and learn how to cycle the puck and hold people off the puck with bigger players, you won't get any higher up. So one to dis he gets one to distributor, which he gets his speed to 92. His acceleration go to 93. Balance is already max. Agility is basically max. And then light the lamp and passing playmaker. If you get these two synergies on there, he's 99 shot. Six foot five, 234. Uh, 99 basically everything else. So... You basically have Patrick Laine, the 92 version, only better, uh, and he's left-handed. Like, there hasn't been a card like this that's left-handed. I compared the two uh, between Team of the Year, Drysaddle, and Mantha, and Mantha's slightly worse, and the only reason is because of those synergies that, that Drysaddle has because he's got workhorse that really kind of separates him. But six foot five is insane, so... 
Uh, this is an incredible card, but if you aren't able to use the bigger, slower guys and TOA just isn't your thing, you're not going to enjoy him. You're going to think he's crap, much like the Eric Lindros card from the Blockbuster event. Uh, but I, I think I just need to show you guys what I'm talking about and how to really start using the bigger players because this is an incredible card and one I'm going to try and go after. Okay, so then in the three and four range, there's two cards again. And again, same thing. It's going to depend on your team makeup. So we'll start with uh, Cam Fowler. If you need a defenseman, Cam Fowler is going to be higher on this list. If you need a winger, then obviously uh, you're going to go with... Um, you're going to go with uh, the other card that we're going to talk about. So balanced, how, again, balanced is a synergy not a lot of people have, so I'm going to play and assume that you don't because, again, just the majority of the player base doesn't. So balance and shutdown. You have a 90, you know, a 97 speed left defenseman, um, you know, with 94 acceleration with synergies. His shot power gets up to 99. His accuracy is 93. With swarm on as well, you can get deking even higher. Um, which I do think is is kind of important. Uh, but stick checking, defensive awareness, body checking, all great as well. This card is slightly better uh, than the OEL. Um, so I've talked about how the 93 OEL is just so good. Uh, this 94 Fowler is slightly better. So in my opinion, I'm going to do a best uh, in each position video shortly. The 94 Cam Fowler is going to check in at number two right behind uh, the, the team of the year uh, headman. So a phenomenal card. And if you need a defenseman, uh, this is uh, really number one on your list of cards that are affordable. <laughs> Down to number two. So if you're set on defense, this, in my opinion, is the best forward to go after. Um, and it's it's for a couple reasons. So I mentioned how Bobby Ryan, you know, he's there's so many good right-handed wingers that that's why he's so low on the list. So the reason why Matthew Barzell is not, first of all, Spark gets him to 98 acceleration. His uh, speed with agility or distributor can get up to 97. So you're you're looking at basically max skating stats. You put Light the Lamp and Gladiator on this card. Now his shot is, you know, high 90s as well. Hand stats all 90s. Body checking is 95. Stick checking defensive awareness are great. Here's the thing. Matthew Barzal cards play faster than they appear on paper. <laughs> so just like McDavid cards, uh, Matthew Barzal cards uh, just play faster. Um, it's like the opposite of um, Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon cards in this game, in the last few games, have just felt worse. Matthew Barzal cards feel better. And I'm stoked that, first, I'm stoked that the Islanders finally got a master item. I've been saying for the last two years that EA needs to make a Barzal master item to the developers, so I'm stoked that we finally have one. Um, but after some thought, like, again, there's so much competition uh, between, you know, uh, Lemieux and, and Guy Lafleur right off the hop, but man, this Barzal card is going to fly and do a lot of damage on the right-hand side, or the, for right-handed forward, so... He comes in as the best forward, in my opinion, uh, in this release. Now, the reason why I say that is because the 96 Connor McDavid is for a very select few people that can actually afford him. Because this is the best card in the game. So, two to heart and soul, that's the only thing trying to keep his value down and not make him just a super unstoppable, you know, the top-end god card. Uh, but they give him Howitzer and Thief. Uh, so, here's the thing. The, uh, it's 99 everything. Like... Connor McDavid cards should be and are the best cards in the game, and the 96 is no different. If you get Thief on this card, you can even start to use him at center. Not quite, uh, but Ma McDavid cards play faster than 99 indicates. He's got max shooting. Like, this is a card to chase, and one that you will never— This will probably never be replaced by any card in the game. Like, unless there is a 99 Connor McDavid that's not just, like— you know, just 4 million coins to buy. This is it. Like, this is the best left-handed card of the game. This is essentially the Gila Fleur. We've said all season long, Gila Fleur is the best right-handed winger card because as he progresses, he's got all of the things that you need for a winger. Connor McDavid's a left-handed version. So um, that's why I didn't really include him in the other ones because he's much more difficult to obtain in this event. I mean, as he should, this is a flex card. I Like, you know what I mean? Like, McDavid cards, there's so many of them because he does so well. I mean, I think tonight he had three points, or yesterday he had three points. Um, so the master item should be the same kind of thing. Like, this is it, man. Uh, unbelievable card, and if you can get him, it's just, uh, it's wild. Okay, I want to talk about the 95s. I don't think I should rank them. 
Um, but these are a lot more obtainable. Like, it costs a lot less. It costs about three gold collectibles uh, to upgrade them from the 94s to the 95s. Uh, plus, obviously, the items required. But those aren't super difficult to obtain. So I just want to talk quickly about the 95s. Tempo Newman, nothing changes. I wouldn't recommend doing... Uh, the Tempo Newman and upgrade just because his speed doesn't go up. Um, he's you know he's incredible in terms of shooting and defense. It's just again same the the price investment I I just wouldn't recommend. Uh, Bobby Ryan uh, same kind of situation. His speed doesn't go up in the plus one. Uh, so that that's a that's a pass remote. The Barkley Goodrow, however, uh, the reason why I think that he should go up is his face offs go up to ninety four. Um, and he just he gets a little bit quicker, so he gets 96 speed, 92 acceleration. Like this card gets, in my opinion, a better enough, like a, a, you know, to to actually be worth that upgrade. Uh, Mantha, same kind of situation. He doesn't go up in speed, which makes it kind of tough. And he's already got max shooting stats when uh, you put uh, the the synergies on. So I, I don't think that's worth it. So. Barkley Goodrow, I think, as well, obviously, McDavid, but Barkley Goodrow is unbelievable. Matthew Barzell, I think, is overkill as well because, you know, his his skating's already maxed at the 94, basically. And then Fowler, however, he is the other one. So if you're going to do two of them, like, it, just in terms of value that I think are worth it, Fowler and, and Goudreau, I think, are worth upgrading to the 95. The the 98 speed, 94, or 95 acceleration, and then max, max shooting, basically, is like unheard of on a defenseman like this is a phenomenal card and he's not small like these are basically skating stats on kale mccarr but he's six foot one uh so just incredible so those are the ones that i would recommend doing the upgrade for if you do get the 94 um you know and J markstrom is just ridiculous uh can't recommend a goalie though boys all right guys so that is going to do it for my rankings of the master items in the uh, NHL Moments event. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe for daily NHL content. Guys, I'm closing in on 25,000 subs. So if you're looking for daily NHL content, this is the place. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.